Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at this Mega Man vs. Fire Man 2-pack from Jack Specific. If you're familiar with Jack Specific at all, you know that they also do the World of Nintendo figures. So these are kind of the three-dimensional, eight-bit versions of the characters that they've done, very similar to the ones they've done for the World of Nintendo line. This is the 8-bit Mario from the World of Nintendo line. So these are very much in that same vein and they look pretty cool. They're kind of about the same size. Pretty similar in size. But I thought they looked pretty neat. And a shout out to my buddy Brian, aka Collector Shuki, for making me aware of these. Uh, basically, there's a, there's a new Mega Man cartoon out right now. Mega Man 11 just came out, so I'm kind of in a little bit of a Mega Man kick. And Jack Specific has the rights to make toys for that new cartoon. So I'm wondering if they kind of just have an overall Mega Man license. So they're kind of trying it out with these. And then they're going to be doing toys for that new show in the spring of next year. So taking a look at the back. Cool group shot here of some of the Robot Masters. And you can see some of the other packs. Basically you always get a version of Mega Man. They give you Mega Man in the power of whoever would, uh, would hurt this boss. So he's Bomb Man, Mega Man against Gutsman. Regular Mega Man against Cutman. Cutman Mega Man against Elect Man. And then Iceman Mega Man against Fire Man. So... I think that's pretty cool. So you're not always just getting the same Mega Man. You're getting whatever power kills the boss that you're teamed up with in the two packs. So kind of cool. I think that's neat. If you'd like to read the little bio there. Each figure set includes two articulated double-sided 8-bit figures with swappable weapon accessories. Now, one, I didn't know that they were articulated, so that'll be interesting. And double-sided 8-bit figures. That is one thing that they should have over the World of Nintendo figures. As you can see, they are not double-sided, so that'll be interesting. So let's go ahead, let's get these guys out of the box, and let's take a closer look. So I wanted to show off, too, that this is the packaging, the inside. It's kind of a little scene from the game. You have the health bar and then the power bar over here. I think that's pretty cool. I probably won't end up keeping this just because mine's a little bent up and messed up, but I do think that's kind of cool. You could go ahead and use this as a display piece. And I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> I just don't really have the room for it. But I think that's neat. I like that they included that as an option. Um, I think these are pretty fun. They're definitely now articulated, I think, is a little generous. The arm moves up and down. But <laughs> that looks really weird. So I would say that looks the best. You could kind of get away with a little bit of up. And you could kind of get away with a little bit of down. But for the most part... That's pretty much uh, where you're going to want to keep that. But overall, I think they look pretty good. You know, they're definitely 8-bit goodness. And they are double-sided, which is really cool. And then here is the projectile, which you can plug into the end of the gun. So it does look like he's firing it. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, can you... Yeah, you definitely want to plug it into that one. So I like that. I think Fireman looks even better. He is also double-sided. He actually has articulation in both of his arms. And I feel like it works a little bit better for him just because that looks a little bit less ridiculous. And then you can plug in this, I don't know, tuft of fire for lack of a better term. <laughs> Plugs into his hand like he's getting ready to throw it at him. I kind of would have, I thought it would have made sense to have it more like down here. Just so it looks like his cannon's firing it. But I guess they went for up here so it looks like he's throwing it. I mean, either way, it's not that big a deal. And they're definitely double-sided. So, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, they're definitely 8-bit, and I love that. I really do. I think the fact that you can take the projectiles off is pretty cool. And you do get a little bit of articulation, but... I mean, I didn't really expect these to be articulated at all, so that's fine. But I think they look good. The whole set was $9.99, so they're about $5 a piece. And when you think about these... These are usually somewhere between 3 and $4 a piece, depending on where you pick it up. So if you would sit this guy, you know, next to Mega Man, I definitely think uh, Mega Man 1 being double-sided is a big deal. He's got a little bit more heft to him, definitely heavier. The articulation and the projectile, I would say he's worth a dollar more than this guy is. Not to downplay these at all, I like what Jack Specific has done with those. But these just seem a little bit more vibrant. And I love the double-sided the double -sided nature. So I just I think these are fun. I don't know. I kind of want to keep this. But I also feel like there's no way that's going to work. 
I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. I just certainly don't have the room, but I think that's really cool that they gave that to you. It also seems like it should be a little bit bigger just because of like your screen when you play. But either way, it's a cool little effort. It's an extra little bonus in there. I think that's pretty cool. So again, shout out to Brian for letting me know these existed. I think they're pretty fun. I'll have to look into trying to find the rest of them because I do love Cutman and I love Gutsman. Electman's pretty cool too. So yeah, and plus I feel like the price is right. I mean, for the size and what you get and the articulation and the double-sided nature, I feel like $10 for two of them, pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.